kind of look forward to this season as a mm -hmm. chance to kind of move up and, and be one of the yeah. teacher backs? Yeah, I feel like um, this program is one of the programs where you just, you know, you come in early, everybody comes in, they got uh, highly uh, recruited athletes, everybody has the stars and everything, but uh, when you come to a school like Georgia, you kind of know everybody's good, so you got to wait your turn. Um, basically trust the process, trust the development that uh, Coach McGee uh, basically has in store for us. You know, he's had a good line of running back, so, you know, it's been good being able to just like sit back and just keep learning from older backs like Zamir and um, and James, just being able to just, you know, be a, a sponge and just soak in and just get more comfortable with the game. So, you know, it's definitely um, made me very excited for what's in store this season and, you know, just ready to get on the field. What's the biggest thing you've learned playing with Zamir and James that maybe that you did not maybe do before, that you did not apply to your own personal game before? Um, I would say, you know, especially me coming in early as a 17 year old, just when you're on the field, just slow down. Just, you know, take a deep breath and just be calm out there because if you're over anxious, everything's going by, everything's on the fly by, you know, you can almost kind of psych yourself out of the game. So just going out there and just being calm, just trusting your abilities and trusting your training, I would say that's the biggest thing that they both have taught me. Can how did you handle sort of dealing with the injuries last mm -hmm. year? I mean, was it frustrating or was it, you know, what was it sort of like just dealing with the injuries? Uh, it, was, it was definitely frustrating, but, um, you know, me having good conversations with my family, I kind of just, you know, sat back and just kind of trusted the recovery, trusted the process. Um, you know, the same, it was the same type of injury from my freshman year, so I knew what type of rehab it was going into. And, you know, once I kind of found out what happened, I knew that it wasn't nothing that was going to, uh, affect me long term. It was just something I got to get through in a moment. But it was definitely tough, you know, having to sit out, you know, through most of the season. But you know, I feel like um, you know, I'm healthy now, and I'm just ready to get on the field. Sort of along those same lines. Just how have you felt being back out at spring practice? Oh, I feel great. Just going out there, uh, you know, putting on the pads and getting back out there with my brothers. You know, it's a, it's always a fun time. You know, it's competitive, it's physical. Everybody goes out there and has fun. So. Yeah, we've been having a good time, you know, in practice. Did your work regimen change any at all from last year to this year? Again, when you've been dealing with injuries, mm -hmm. try to keep those kind of things from happening again. Uh, I, I would just say, you know, I've been just getting the extra treatment and everything, just kind of, you know, doing all the things, trying to prevent, you know, future things. And you know, I've been me and Kenny just push push each other on the weight room, push each other on the field. Just, you know, we, we're both hoping for a big year, so we're both just competing with each other right now. Sort of along those lines, just what do you feel like this entire running back group uh, is capable of doing this year? Especially with the um, two backs we got coming in, I feel like our running back room is going to be just how the past years was, where we're, you know, four or five running backs deep in the room. And um, especially for the younger guys, I feel like them coming in, it's almost a perfect time because, you know, they're going to come in and it's basically going to be work. They're going to come in, get thrown in the fire, and that's what makes players better when you kind of just got to go out there and just kind of in for yourself type of type of deal. So, you know, I'm excited for the, the group we have coming in this year. What have you seen from Dejan? What, what he's oh, no, Dejan, that's, that's, one, that's one guy that I think um, a lot of people sleep on. You know, when you see Dejan every day in practice, he has uh, a killer dead leg that it's almost unstoppable. And he has great balance, great speed, great power. So, you know, I feel like Dejan, he's definitely going to surprise a lot of people this year. He's somebody that he has a lot of the oohs and ahs and practices cause, just because, you know, he has a big playmaking ability. You've heard a lot about Jamon Dumas Johnson, aka Pop, this spring so yeah. far. Mm -hmm. Matching up against him as a running back, what have you seen out of him? What makes him good? Uh, running back? I think I think Pop is going to be special, um, especially. <clears throat> I see a lot of uh, resemblances with Quay in his game. You know, when you go out there, run routes against him. Uh, we do the drills where we have to kind of juke him out. He's just patient. You know, he just lets everything come to him. He's smart with the game, and you know, he's a super physical player. And I feel like those are all tools that um, kind of make a good linebacker in the long run. And I feel like Pop, he's going to be another one of those guys that you know steps up on the defense, and becomes a, a leader on the team. And speaking of leaders, you know, we heard a lot last year about the role that Kenny and, or not Kenny, uh, James and Zamir played mm -hmm. as leaders. How do you think you and Kenny can go about filling that sort of leadership role? You know, I feel like it's kind of just a, a, a pass the torch situation. You know, like I said, um, everybody comes in with people in front of them and you kind of, like I said, just soak it in, just be a sponge. And I feel like, you know, they're, they're moved on. They, you know, chasing their dreams at this point. And I feel like it's just kind of the torch pass where me and Kenny, we both have to step up and take on those leadership roles because at the end of the day, we're kind of the older guys on the team. So, you know, it's our responsibility to, you know, kind of lead that role. Can you put into perspective just how hungry you are for volume. I mean, I look at your two years yes, and sir. I look at your numbers and it's like, 
Mm-hmm. We've seen the flashes, but yeah. there hadn't been a whole lot of opportunity. Yeah. I would say I'm very hungry, you know, especially um, the past years. Uh, the, the timing of the injuries, I feel like it was a mm-hmm. uh, timing of I was starting to do, you know, pretty good and t- starting to get off and then it would happen. But, you know, same things last season. I'm just grinding this off season for, for a huge season, you know. Every day we're going out there and practice. So I'm just trying to, you know, just identify the reads a little bit better, trying to identify coverage a little bit better, just trying to fix up little things in my game that can show huge improvements on the field. So answer your question, I'm very hungry. Mm-hmm. How do you and uh, Brock Bowers kind of vibe off each other a little bit, being yeah. West Coast guys coming across the country yeah. to play and kind of, yeah. you're not trying to outdo each other per yeah. se, but just contributing in the way you guys are. You're talking yeah. about that? Like yeah, that no, conscious? it's crazy because back home in California, you know, California is such a big state that it's, it's really divided into sections. So me and Brock, we really didn't know each other yeah. going through recruitment or anything. But, you know, when we came here, you know, he's right on my locker road. And Brock, Brock's my homie. You know, we'll talk about that whole Cali vibe and everything. And, you know, we, we both had some from Fresno. He's from Napa. So there's, those are really two totally different places. But, you know, Brock's my homie. We basically talk about what we can see each other doing, you know, our plans for what we want to get out of this. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy for the things that Brock has accomplished, you know, early in his career. And just you coming from the West Coast again to, to George, were there any apprehension on your part at first when you first uh, came here? And did, did everything play out in that regard like you expected to do? Uh, yeah, the only thing was, like, of course, you know, the injury, everything that happens with that. But, you know, one thing that I've learned from Coach Smart is just control what you can control. There's going to be a lot of different factors, a lot of different things that you know happen while you're here that you can't control. But all you all you can really do is control what you can control, and everything will play itself out at the end of the day. One more for Kendall. Have you had any contact with like Bryce Young? He's from Southern California. Yeah. 